hard to have a month like this for a can cancer that's as prevalent as breast cancer is. It's the number one most uh, prevalent cancer in women, aside from certain types of skin cancers. So we want to constantly be raising awareness, maintaining uh, communication with people in the community about, you know, how do I screen? What should I know about the warning signs of breast cancer? What are my risk factors? Who do I talk to if I find something um, before it's time for me to get screened? Um, and in, in addition to that, because of the pandemic, a lot of people didn't see the, the walks and all of the um, communications that take place every year around Breast Cancer Awareness Month and in other times of the year because people couldn't get together. Uh, also, people were concerned about going in and getting screened. And that's one of the things I'm most concerned about right now is that people have put off their screenings because, um, you know, initially in the beginning parts of the pandemic, people weren't, you know, they weren't having non-essential or elective medical procedures being done in hospitals and in imaging centers. So people weren't being called in to do them. But even now that things are opening back up again, people are still some, you know, a little bit worried about, am I safe going into an imaging center to get a mammogram or an ultrasound or what have you? It's really important that women and men, to be honest, are aware of the, the screening um, guidelines and also what the early warning signs might be. Um, people will oftentimes um, not feel anything or they'll feel something that's there and it ends up being benign. And there's a lot of questions about, should I bring this to the attention of my, of my doctor or my provider? The reason it's important to bring any concerns like that to your doctor is because breast cancer is um, like many cancers, pretty treatable, you know, highly effective treatments are available um, for people at the early stages of uh, breast cancer. And so we always tell people don't feel like it's a dumb question to bring this to the attention of your provider. We want to know if you feel something that that's, that wasn't there before, or that just doesn't feel right to you. Um, there's some, I think, mythical information out there about breast cancer doesn't hurt, but you can have a, a tumor that is, is tender to the touch and painful. So just because you have, a, 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 if you feel something there and it, and it does hurt, that doesn't mean that it can't be breast cancer. So anything that's out of the ordinary, please um, ask, ask your provider to examine you and to send you for some imaging if that's what's required.